what is going on guys welcome to your 19th video and in this video I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to create those dynamic links on the top right side of the web page so for example when a user first goes to this website they open their web browser and type this in they're gonna see the links register or login if you don't have an account you obviously register but if you do you can go ahead and click login now you're taken to a login page where you can type your username and your password and if everything's correct and hit submit you log in and a couple things are going to happen first of all you're taken to your main account homepage and second of all the links on the top right hand side are now changed instead of log in they now say log out my account add item or messages now even though you may not be able to tell right now well obviously you can't tell but whenever you receive a new message say for example you receive five new messages that day while you're at school this messages is going to be bold and there's going to be a five in parentheses so I don't have any new messages or I read them all and that's why we get this plain link but whenever you do receive a new message then this link is going to be bold and show the number of messages so I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now now the first thing I want to do is I want to create a new function that's pretty much going to be responsible for echoing out the links now I want to do that because even though the links go right here it's not good to have all this code in one function because that is the key I'm telling you guys to making a big program if you go ahead and put all of code inside one function you guys are gonna go crazy the key to making any successful large program is breaking it up into easily manageable pieces if you guys learn anything from me ever it's that the key to making an accessible successful piece of software is breaking it up into easily understandable easily to manage pieces and that's what we're going to be doing so let's go ahead and make a function for top right links and I'm just going to name this function top right right links now let me go ahead and talk to you guys about how social networks or any site that you build in PHP works whenever a user logs in whenever you log into a site you're gonna be assigned something called a session ID or a session variable now this is pretty much a variable that sticks with you as long as you are using the site you get a unique variable that says okay this is the user so what happens whenever we're coding this is we can test whether that user has a session variable assigned or not whenever they're logged in they get one assigned so we can test if they don't have one assigned yet then that means that they must be logged out if they do have a session variable assigned then we can go ahead and just use that variable to you know get their information or whatever and you guys are going to see a little bit more about this whenever we talk about the register page but for now just remember that we can test whether the session variable exists for that user to tell whether they're logged in or not so let's go ahead and make a simple if statement to do that so we can say something like if is set session which is a global variable in I know I didn't uh, set a variable yet because we didn't build the register code yet but we are going to be calling our session variable user underscore underscore ID now we actually want to test first if this is not set so basically if a session ID variable is not set that means that the user has not logged in yet or they are logged out so if they are not logged in yet what do we want to do well we just want to echo some code that says register or log in so the first thing we want to do is build an href and set it equal to our register which is register.php let me just go ahead and finish this so we basically um, make a link to something called a register and that's what we see if we log out right here now before I make my login link as you can see it's separated by this little pipe sign so you know just don't forget that so now we have a register link that links to register.php and I also want to create a login link so let me just go ahead and copy that code cheat a little bit here and the login page is going to name login.php and the text is just going to be log in so basically if they do not have a session variable set that means that they must 
not have logged in yet or they are logged out. Whenever the user is logged out, they have the option of registering if they're a new user or if they're just not logged in, they can just go ahead and log in. Simple enough. That's all we need to do for that set of variables. The next set of variables, however, is a little more complicated because in the case that they are logged in, then they must have a session variable set. So the first thing I like to do is instead of using this huge, long, ugly variable, I like to store it in a simple variable called x. And that is because it just makes it a little bit easier typing x rather than this huge mama jama variable. So the first thing I want to do is I want to see if they have any new messages. So if we go ahead and go to our database, I included a table called messages in here. This is pretty much a table that's going to store all messages for all users. Now it of course has an ID what number message this is an identifier for the message because all tables should have a primary key unless you absolutely can't have one the receiver which is pretty much the ID number of um, pretty much who is receiving the message the sender is the ID number of who sent it the subject like hey party at my house tonight and the body with all the information the date sent and the status now the status of the message is going to be either um, red if you already read the message, unread if the user has not yet read the message, or deleted if they deleted the message. I think those are my statuses. So anyways, that's what the messages table is. So now we can go ahead and utilize the information. So what we want to do is we want to check not only how many messages that receiver has, but we want to count the number of unread messages. So let's go ahead and do that by hitting result equals now in order to query a database, go ahead and put my SQL underscore query and you go ahead and you type your query in here. Now go ahead and type your query in double quotation marks and what we want to do is we want to select all from messages and I typed that wrong. Messages where receiver is equal to X. So pretty much if my ID number is 20, I want to select all the messages where I am the receiver, all of the messages that people sent me. Now furthermore, I only want to select the messages where the status is equal to unread because the only time I want a prompt to appear on the top right hand side of the links giving me saying hey you got a new message is if I haven't read that message yet if I got a hundred messages yesterday but I already read them I don't want it to say hey you got a hundred new messages because I already read them make sense good so after this what we want to do is we just want to add an or die my SQL underscore error now typically you don't want any error messages to pop up on your web page why because then it might give critical information about your database that um, malicious people can use to hack into it. But for testing purposes, I like to output all the error messages because I probably typed something wrong somewhere in here. And whenever we're testing it, we can see our errors easily. But remember later on to either uh, delete these or just suppress all error messages in another way.